This is a vote that has captured the imagination of the world, but lots of other independence movements across the globe have been following it closely too. Here in Edinburgh, we've seen people from Quebec, from the uh, Canadian province of Quebec, who have come to join uh, the Yes campaign and lend them their support, but also lots of people here from Spain and from the region of Catalonia particularly, which is after independence, some people there, independence from Spain. That's being blocked very clearly by Spain's Prime Minister, Mariano Rajoy. But with me now is Ramon Tramosa who is from Catalonia and is an MEP uh, for Spain. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very what much. What was your reaction today when it was a no vote here in Scotland? Well, I, I was uh, yesterday night organized with the Scottish National Party following the Yes campaign, so I have not slept yet. But uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, Scotland and Britain have created a very good precedent of how to deal with the conflict of self-determination in the 21st century without violence, peacefully, democratically. So I, we hope that, that uh, Great Britain can export this best practice to the rest of the Europe, the European Union, and of course the rest of the world, how to deal with such a conflict. Because I want to know, to make you know that uh, in Catalonia there is a much um, broader majority in favor of referendum than in Scotland. We got 70% in participation in the last Catalan parliament elections. We got two-thirds majority for to have a referendum, so bigger figures than here in Scotland. So what needs to be done then to change the mind of Mariano Rajoy, who well, very it, clearly it, said uh, he will block any referendum? Yes, and England has centuries of democratic tradition. Spain had, has, has had centuries of uh, dictatorships from militaries. So we need time to, to do that. But if uh, as uh, Catalan parties who are in favor of the referendum said two years ago, if at the end the referendum is blocked, we will call for a snap elections at the Catalan Parliament with an explicit mandate in the electoral program to proceed of, uh, of a unilateral declaration of independence. Very briefly explain to us why the Catalans want independence. Well, we have a, a language which is not recognized by the Spanish government. It is forbidden to speak Catalan in the Spanish Parliament or in the European Parliament. We uh, pay much more taxes to the Spanish state and the return is very few. It is, has been estimated by the Spanish government in a 10% of the Catalan GDP year per year. We have an open economy, 6,000 multinationals. We generate the, about the 30% of Spanish exports. Our economy is an European one. Spain is not the best country of Europe. So there are a lot of history and a lot of future in such a movement. Norman Tramosa, thank you very much for joining us here on BBC World News. Thank you very much. Have a good flight back to Barcelona. It's a bit more sunny there, yeah, sunny I there. understand. Yes, thank right. you very much. Well, do stay with us here on BBC World News. Coming up, we'll have more for you from Edinburgh, including a lot of the social media reaction. Uh, Twitter has been set alight today, Facebook as well, by the results of this Scottish referendum.